Hello Capricorn. Capricorn. Aquarius. Sorry guys. <laughs> Hi Aquarius. This is you versus them for the 1st through the 15th of April. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys, as always, for coming. These cards. I did get some new cards. I have used the heck out of these. Let's see. Aquarius issues with this relationship in the past. What were Aquarius's issues? Oh, hmm. I, I feel like it really just got on your nerves all the way around. Um, maybe you guys felt like this person was trying to play mind games with you. You felt like there was, um, you know, no trust in this situation. Okay all about winning and losing is what I'm hearing here. Gemini energy there. <clears throat> Let's see. What was the other person's issues? What were the other person's issues? The four of wands. I'm, I'm here to tell you that I know at least a four, at least four of the five signs I've done, I've done thus far today have gotten the four of wands as an issue. Not being happy, not feeling like, you know, the relationship was truly a relationship that was committed, that was stable, that was happy. Um, they just did not feel like it was, you know, a committed relationship, one that was growing, one where they could feel secure and comfortable in. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's keep an Aquarius from this person. Let's keep an Aquarius from this person. The devil. Um, there's a level of toxicity I feel that you guys just don't want to be bothered with anymore. Okay. Um, I do feel that you guys have this strong attraction. Um, you feel a very strong connection with this individual, but you recognize that there is um, a lot of toxicity involved in this situation. Okay. I also think that you guys are fearful that, you know, there is nothing that has changed here. Okay. Maybe you guys feel like this is stri strictly a sexual relationship with that devil energy being there. Lots of mind games. Maybe there's somebody here that also has, um, some addictions but I'm definitely getting that there is some kind of you know mental um, manipulation psychological manipulation that is present in this connection or has been present in this connection what's keeping this person from Aquarius what's keeping this person from Aquarius the two of cups <clears throat> um, there's a possibility that this person is in a relationship currently or they are looking for true love and they feel like you know that wasn't present with you guys okay I think this is all about um, wanting that very strong connection that that unspoken connection where the feelings are mutual. They're looking for a very committed relationship. They're looking for their soulmate is what I'm getting here. And feeling like, you know, they they cannot have that with you guys. I'm feeling like they have a lot of self-love going on currently, okay? Actually. 
you're looking for the one. Let's see. <clears throat> What's currently going on for Aquarius? What's currently going on for Aquarius? The Six of Cups. A lot of reminiscing, I feel. You guys still feel a very strong attachment with this person. Um, I'm feeling this, this, this overwhelming urge to reunite because again I'm feeling a very strong connection um, maybe even um, a psychological connection between you and this person somebody here walked away from this from this toxic energy I'm feeling like there's been a shift in energy here with the six of cups and a two of cups there's been a shift. But let's pull some more cards and see what we've got. As I was putting this deck down, I couldn't help but notice the Nine of Swords under the bottom of the deck. You guys have been thinking about this a lot. Again, I'm feeling like this really um, strong connection between the two of you. And I feel like it is, you know, a, a psychological connection that maybe you guys are... Um, I don't want to say telepathic. Um, but I feel like you guys may have been, you know, dreaming about this person. This person may be dreaming about you. Um, I don't feel like you guys are speaking, though, because I'm, I'm definitely seeing that there's something that has ended here. But um, there's something that I feel like is worrying, worrying you guys, bothering you about this connection currently with this person. This is somebody that you feel at home with. That you once felt like was family. You still feel like they're family. Hmm. Let's see. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on for the other person? The Page of Pentacles. There's something that they are... There's something that they want to do that they're not that, that sure about currently. Um... They're not sure about it. I don't get that this person is involved. I think that's what they're seeking, that connection where they feel like, um, you know, they can share the emotions with someone and and have it reciprocated. They're looking for that. But I'm, I'm getting this sense of feeling leery. Because it's not afraid. It's, it's leery. Like, do I really want to get back out there? Do I want to open myself up and be vulnerable? It's what I'm getting. What's influencing Aquarius? What's influencing Aquarius currently? What's influencing Aquarius? What's influencing Aquarius? The Seven of Wands. You guys really want to be successful, um, and y you don't really want anything to get in the way of that. And I feel that, yeah, you've been reminiscing about this person. Yeah, I feel like you guys still care deeply for this person, but you can't help but remember the level of toxicity that you experience also with this person. So. I'm feeling like you guys, either you have blocked them or they have blocked you, but there's definitely a block between you guys here. Definitely a block between you guys here. But I, very, you're still very attracted to this person. Um, fire energy here. Leo Aries, I feel strongly very attracted to this person. Hmm. What's influencing the other person? What's influencing the other person? The King of Pentacles. They have a certain standard that they're looking for. 
Mm -hmm. They want somebody that is not only um, financially secure, but they want someone that wants to be committed, that wants to settle down, that's also looking for real love. That's, yeah, somebody that's very mature, um, somebody that, you know, likes to take care of, you know, their person. That wants to be at home by the fire with their person. <laughs> you know? They want stability, security. Hmm. What's coming in for Aquarius? What's coming in for Aquarius? Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. This is an offer on the table. This is something that's being offered to you guys from God. There's an opportunity here. And I feel like it's an opportunity to um, reunite. It's an opportunity to reunite. And I feel that you guys really have something to say. You really have something to say. And I feel like you've been observing um, this situation. You've been thinking about it. Thinking about what to do here. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? Page of Cups. I feel somebody coming in for them. Actually. Either this is a very new person or this is somebody that is a new energy. Um, it, it could be somebody that they have a history with. It could even be you guys. But I'm getting this as someone new that has an interest in this individual. that has a newfound interest in this individual. So either this is a new person or this is somebody who has a newfound interest. Okay. <clears throat> Cancer Scorpio Pisces there. Let's see. What's the advice for Aquarius? What's the advice for Aquarius? Oh, look at that. That King of Swords. Oh, wow. The advice for you. The advice for you. Hmm. I think this is for you to reevaluate what it is that you really want. What is it that you're standing by? What is it that you're defending? Okay, the advice is to really think about what is going to make you happy here. Because you're holding fast, looking right at the Seven of Wands to, you know, what you're blocking out. I think there's a need for you guys to rethink what it is that you are standing by. What is it that you're blocking out? Is that what is most important here? Or is this... I think the advice is to reevaluate, to reevaluate your situation, okay? To reevaluate what it is that you really want. What is the advice for the other person? What's the advice for the other person? There's some healing here, here too. I think that um, there's definitely um, a need to recognize that you've been hurt and recognize where that hurt is coming from okay there is some fear here as well there's a need to address some issues here within yourself because I don't think you're seeing the bigger picture here you're not looking at the star you're not looking at your destiny you're just standing by what you initially said you would. But why is that? Okay. 
but why is that? What is advice for them? Okay, so pulled out two cards. Okay, that they have basically um, they've learned something here. They've they've wrapped up a cycle here. This this situation, all of this toxic energy that's over, they've learned their lesson here. Now it's time to invest in the future. It's time to invest in the future. Okay. The advice would be for them. They've learned their lesson. So, you know, what are we doing now? <laughs> Basically. Okay. So, are you in their future? Or are you guys moving on? Or what? The advice for them is to, let's move forward. Okay, now what do we want to do? What do we want to accomplish? Okay. Hmm. What's the outcome for Aquarius? What is the outcome for Aquarius? What is the outcome for Aquarius? Justice. Justice. Hmm. Making things right. The universe will right things even if we don't want to. So I think right now you guys are at a crossroads. Okay. Um, and I think that there's a need to kind of reevaluate here. Okay. Reevaluate. Because I do see this person with the world, of course. This is the end of the tarot. So the fool comes after the world, taking a leap of faith, starting over. I see that happening down here. Hmm. What is the outcome for the other person? What is the outcome for the other person? What is the outcome for the other person? The Page of Wands. Doing new things. Having new interests. Exploring new opportunities. Mm -hmm. Going out into the world. Strong fire energy here. So what we have is Aries. Leo is very strong. Aries and Leo. Um, Cancer, I feel, is here. Taurus is here. Scorpio is here for sure. Libra, Capricorn, Gemini energy is here. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you guys and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.